All right, all right. Stop commenting about this. I've made the video, okay? Blade and Sorcery Nomad has been given the extremely wanted feature, scripted mods. What are scripted mods and what does it mean for Nomad players, you might ask? Well, in short, scripted mods are more complex mods that require custom coding. So Nomad players are now going to be able to play mods that were until now only available for PC VR. But there's a catch. This feature is in beta, and to use the developer's own words, it is potentially buggy and or crashy build. Also, it is only an opt-in beta, which means you have to enable this feature in order to try it out. And lastly, this doesn't mean that you can now play every PC VR mod. All the mods still have to be converted to work properly or even at all. So far, I've only tried four available mods, but there might be more working. If you know of any that work for you, leave a comment and share with others. If you'd like to know how to enable this feature, here's a quick and easy tutorial. Go to the Metastore page, log into the same account that you use for your headset. Good luck pronouncing that. Go to the Blade and Sorcery Nomad Store page, scroll down to version and select 0.12.3 scripting. And now the mods I've tried so far. First being more slots that I honestly never used before, but in short it adds a whole bunch of slots for your weapons, customizable as well. Another one is improved physics and this mod adds physics now good? I haven't seen any difference, but I'm also not used to Nomad at all. The mod Ice Clones is now also available for Nomad, and this adds a spell that when activated, it pushes you a bit backwards and creates an Ice Clone where you stood. If an enemy interacts with the clone in any way, they freeze for a few seconds and you can do whatever you like to them. And last, but definitely not least, my favorite mod ever, Mystic Hands. I've covered this mod a few times already, but in short, you get two huge hands or claws, which you can customize and then grab anyone, climb anywhere, anything. To be honest, I kinda expected way more bugs and crashes in the hour of testing it out. Mystic Hands did crash on me once when I was testing it, so no recording, but I did manage to crash the game using the Ice Clones. And there you have it! Hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed watching it. Please like and subscribe if you did, and I'll see you in the next one.